Wood. It's one of the most common and resilient materials on earth. It has been used from everything from housing to common things you use every day. Many types of wood, especially hardwoods, last for years and years if properly cared for. An entirely new industry is starting to emerge where old hardwoods are being harvested from old buildings and then recycled and turned into new construction materials. This is quite amazing because not long ago this beautiful wood was disposed of in landfill. One of the companies that turned its sustainable practice into a growing business is Teramai. Growing by leaps and bounds, they have an impressive resume of clients, including Mr. Donald Trump. Don, the self-named Green Crusader, found out more about this new industry and one of the companies leading it. Amazing precision. Look at this. Remember, this is the old throwaway product. This is the new. Rangus is the product, beautiful hardwood flooring. And who's responsible for this at Teramai? Ken Westrick. Ken, good to meet you. Hello, Don. So Ken, what got you started in this business? This is fascinating. I was up in Montana, kind of kicking around. I saw these old barns falling down. I thought, you know, there must be a business in this. And so I looked around and found that it was pretty much just uh, a lot of mom and pops, you know a guy with a dog in a pickup truck, a barn falls down and they decide to sell some wood. What I wanted to do was to create a company that could service really larger clientele, commercial projects, and that really came at it, uh, hopefully from a professional angle. Mm -hmm. So that was 10 years ago, and uh, you know, it's been, uh, it's been quite a road to here. But I absolutely love the business. Now, when you picked the business up, it was kind of in shambles, if you will. People were just kind of piecemealing it and putting it together. And you turned it into an international business. These woods are phenomenal. They look like trash, but they're absolutely beautiful. What I thought that we could do differently was to bring phenomenal woods to the market and at the same time to do it in a scale in that that allows the large companies to use it for retail space, for offices, <laughs> for resorts, restaurants. Wow. So not only international, but right here domestically, you're, you're in areas like the Bay Area, including Moffett Field of all places. I used to live down there, and there's this uh, old hangar uh, at Moffett Field, huge old dirigible hangar. And we got the call that there was redwood to be reclaimed out of this hangar and found that there was redwood cut 80 years ago yeah, in truckload quantities that was available. And so I immediately knew that we had to own it. Wow, so the redwood is kind of a hard wood to find nowadays, isn't it? Virtually all the old growth redwood has already been decimated. Fortunately, we have some of this remaining in existing structures. Yeah. You know, nothing frustrates me more than to see a beautiful old barn or some structure somewhere with all these beautiful woods in it like you're talking about and they come along and burn it down or tear it down and take it off to the landfill. And you're saving that from happening. Yep, that's, that is the truth of it. You know, I saw this old canning factory in San Jose a couple years ago. They were pulling out huge timbers and they were rolling over it with machines that essentially turned it into toothpicks. And I would have paid them for it, but they were making it into toothpicks. So that's exactly right. A lot of this wood just gets discarded and it's really a shame. Yeah, and the feel of it. Let's go see some of these woods that you're talking about that are coming from all over the world. Great. All right. All right. So Ken, international wood from all over the world. What's your favorite? Now it's gotta be teak. Teak's an amazing uh, species. Look at this, Don. This is a beam. It's 12 inches wide. It runs 15 feet. It came out of a large structure in Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. Just phenomenal. And in fact, let me show you what it looks like right. after we uh, clean it up here. So. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, so we open this up. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that amazing? It's just phenomenal. So a little bit of stain on this. Uh, a little stain, a little oil, and it, it's gorgeous. We use it for decking, flooring, paneling, and in fact, here's uh, some white plank uh, teak flooring, mm -hmm. seven and a half inches wide and uh, it just makes a phenomenal Man, floor. Look at the precision, that's just beautiful. So Ken, this is teak as well, but what's special about this pile? Well, Don, this teak is from Africa, and we call it African teak. It's actually a slightly different species than what I just showed you. This comes out of a forest in a reservoir that was flooded 60 years ago. It was underwater. It was, My it was gosh. for 60 years. Entire trees underwater. Absolutely, My yes. gosh. We harvest those trees and bring this material into the States. And one advantage of this is that it has a different price point than the teak that I just showed you. Uh -huh. So a little bit more economical, it allows municipalities and other folks 
to use this for exterior decking projects and that, and to not be using some of the new rainforest materials and trees that uh, they have been using in the past. That's right, that product would have been totally lost and wasted yeah, if somebody didn't go in, cut it down underwater, and get it to the market. That's right. Wow. That's right. Hi, Maria. Hi. Hi. This is exciting. So tell us a little bit more about what makes your process special. We are a custom mill, all tailored to fit the designer's needs for the individual project. We work with unique woods from all over the world. Mm -hmm. Your process has special certification to it, right? Absolutely. We are FSC certified mm -hmm. and we're also qualifying for LEED with mm -hmm almost every product that we have here. We're the first reclaimed wood company to have both of those certifications. All right, so the Forest Stewardship Council gives you blessings. Absolutely. And lead in energy and environmental design is, gives you the points. That's correct. So Ken, your company is amazing. You're all over the world dealing with companies and people. Who's your typical customer? We work with Google for their offices. We work with Lululemon, their stores. Cliff Bar, mm -hmm. we put in a lot of material into their new headquarters. REI, they put wow. in a large store in Manhattan. So all kinds of, uh, all kinds of things. Even Starbucks, people like this. Absolutely. Wow. Yes. We just try to develop a great brand and a great reputation and to truly serve our customers. Well, that's green. That's sustainable. Yes, wow. it is.